The housing market is clearly in crisis. We're simply not building enough houses. The government set a target at the beginning of this parliament of building 200,000 houses a year. Our inquiry has shown that at least 300,000 houses is, is needed a year, new homes are needed a year, if we're to meet the demand and if we're also to attempt to moderate price rises. The private sector has built pretty much the same number of homes across a long period of time, so one can't look to them to increase uh, substantially the level of building. The, the local authorities who historically were major contributors to the house building, to building new homes, can and have the ambition, have the skills, have the ambition uh, to actually do that. And so they must be supported and that the rules currently surrounding how much they can borrow, what they can borrow, uh, should be change so that they can in fact enter into the house building market in a very big way, either on, the, uh, on their own behalf or in partnership with others, particularly the housing associations. I think there are two areas. First of all, there's a large number of permission sites that haven't been built on uh, because it's the uh, business model of uh, the private sector is just to build for margin, not, not necessarily to build for volume. So in order to encourage building on those already permission sites, we would propose that uh, local authorities have the right, after an agreed period of time, to charge council tax on those sites to provide an incentive to get them built. The second area is public land. Ministry of Defence, uh, National Health Service, Transport for London own very significant tracts of land, many of which are close to transport links and which are ideal to be built on. And what we're calling for is a senior minister, senior cabinet minister, supported by the National Infrastructure Commission to take responsibility for get that public land into uh, being developed and houses being built on them. It's only by doing that that we'll achieve the target of 300,000 that we need to.